Hi everyone, this is a quick demo to show you how multi-CAD design studies are done using SimSolid. SimSolid is a new generation of structural design analysis software. It is intended to be used early in the design cycle to provide rapid insight on structural performance. A few things to remember about SimSolid. First, it's simple to use. It's based on new technology that uses high order equations on a part and CAD feature basis and doesn't create a mesh. SimSolid works directly on the original, unsimplified CAD geometry. Second, it's fast. It is typical to analyze large assemblies and get results in seconds to minutes. And finally, SimSolid is accessible. It's a small, downloadable Windows application. It runs quickly on your desktop computer, so expensive HPC or slow batch cloud processes are not required. And all versions come with direct CAD integration to both SolidWorks and Onshape. The modeling philosophy of SimSolid is quite different from traditional FEA. With SimSolid, assembly modeling is much easier. Multi-scale assemblies, big and small, or thick and thin, and assemblies with part connection gaps and overlaps are all easily processed. In addition, parts with extreme geometric complexity, small features, or poorly formed surface regions can all be included. The mesh-related challenges with traditional methods are not encountered with SimSolid. This makes setting up the model a snap. Now let's take a look at how design studies of large assemblies are done. Okay, let's start in SolidWorks. Here's the assembly that we want to analyze. Uh, to do the analysis, we pick this button, open in SimSolid. Open SimSolid moves the model there. We can pick here OK to get automatic connections of, um, of our assemblies. Make our connections. OK, th there's the connections all done. There's our model. So let's do a quick analysis. Uh, let's do a linear static analysis. Let's constrain up here in the throat. Let's load it, say, on this face here, maybe 1,000 pounds. And let's load this back face. The same thing, maybe uh, minus a thousand pounds. Okay, now we're all set, ready to ready to roll. No uh, no mesh required, so I'll just pick analyze. And you can see it. You'll see the status down here in the bottom. It creates the equations. Then it will solve the product multiple times. Pass one, pass two, pass three. Writes the results, and we're done. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Um, Let's uh, look maybe at a displacement plot first. Maybe I'll look at the deform shape. And actually, why don't I do an animation? So there's a, uh, an animation of my, my deformations. Let me save that. Uh, go back, stop that. Maybe I'll come up here and make a stress plot. And this time, I'm going to zoom up over here and uh, save that. Um, now I can go back to my model, say, for example, and um, in fact, why don't we just save a, a nice image of uh, just the model. So i got one more thing to save. Okay, but now let's say we want to do uh, uh, a second design study. We want to examine the impact of some geometry change. To do that, let's go back to our CAD system. Let's, you know, take a variation. Here's a, here's a variation of my model where I have a number of the parts that have been modified. Uh, I just simply go back in SimSolid, but this time you'll see that it says you have an open project. You want to go into a new project or the existing. I say, well, I want to go in the existing. When I do that, it'll put that change model into the existing project, but you'll see it makes it as a second design study. And in fact, it does a little bit more than that. It copied in, so here is our first assembly geometry. Here's our second. But it also reassociated all the loads and constraints. So you can see here that I have a structural analysis all set up and ready to go as well on, on this model. So I have the same load, same constraints. All I have to do is hit Analyze here, and I can get my second analysis. So again, this is you know, an 85-part assembly. We're analyzing it a second time with uh, design configuration change. And now I can go back and I look at my, there's my stresses for my first part. I, if you want to look at the stress of the second one, just simply click on it and you can get really quick changes. So there's stresses, um, first one, second one, etc. 
Okay, that's nice. But now let's assume that we have um, a, a third design change, and it's not done from, from SolidWorks. Let's assume we have a colleague that's modeling this in Onshape. How do we bring that in? To do that, we go up to this button here. It's our cloud browser. And now we're looking at our directory on Onshape. And these are different files. You can see I have a number of files there as I browse through them, right? Uh, if I want to get to my grapple model here, I have three configurations there as well. And let's say I want to get the second configuration. So um, simply open that up. Now I'm getting the, uh, the model, but not from SolidWorks. I'm getting it from Onshape. But it also knows it's still a design study. It makes a third design study. It creates all the connections. And now it says, well, you know, these geometries all change. So it says, I made the connections. But there may be a few that you need to check. So that's when you see something in red. You can go down here and say, yeah, those are the same, but I'm OK with that. So in this case, I just say accept all, con all connections. And you can see it made my analysis. It made my loads and constraints, and everything's ready to go. So if I just pick uh, Analyze, uh, take the default materials. doing the analysis a third time. But what we've done here is we've gotten three design studies of an 85 part assembly. We've got two from SolidWorks. We've got one from Onshape. And we've got them in a form we can quickly compare all three of them. So let's look. Here's my animation from my first one. Here's my second one. You can see how the geometry changes. Here's my third one. So that's from Onshape. Those are two from SolidWorks. Well, that's great. And I can look at stresses the same way. Uh, from each of the each of those so I can very quickly scan through them okay let's do one final thing let's say that we want to do a, an additional analysis case and we want to apply it to all three studies to do that let's go back to our model uh, let's go back to our initial baseline design study and I'm going to copy structural one I'm just going to copy it to uh, the current design study because I want to edit it so now I have a second analysis and in this analysis here Let's just change the loads a, a bit. So let's take this and let's make that uh, a load in Y, uh, like that. And let's go back this one and make this another load in Y. OK, so I very quickly have got my second study. Now, if I want to take that, I can just copy it to all other design studies and now I'll take that same that same uh, set of analysis loads and constraints it takes it from there's design study one design study two and design study three uh, now design study three again I have these contact conditions that it not completely sure since these came from SolidWorks it wants me to co you know confirm that they're okay so I say okay but at this point, I'm all ready to go. Now, I just have three analyses to run. And I can run them all one at a time, or I can run them uh, together in batch. But let's just do it one at a time. I come up here. I run that one. And you'll see it's, you know it's run by the fact that you see the, the results uh, branch in, in the tree there. It won't take very long. So that's the first one. Here's our second one. And here's our third one. So we'll just go back and run that. So you see I, I'm running it this, you know, it's a different load case for three different geometric configurations. And again, you know, I'm doing it pretty much interactively. Okay, so let's just look at the animations really quick. There is the animation for, and we can close these down to make them a little bit easier to pick through. Um, There's the animation for our structural one load case. There's the same animation for the same geometry, but with our second load case, which we have this twisting applied. We can look at you know the same twisting on the second one or the third one. And we can go back and look at stresses exactly the same way. So there's stresses on the first case. There's stresses that are different. You can see that we have a little nice peak there on this, this torsional case, and there is for geometry one, there's for geometry two, and there's geometry three. 
Well, one final thing we might want to do is look at the safety factors for all these different uh, analysis cases. I can do that. Let's go back to our first structural one and let's look at safety factors. So I can go down and uh, you know look at the safety factors here and you can see that for the first one uh, everything's green there's no real problems. Okay that's great but if I want to scan through this I can go there is my my second one and you can see that for the torsional case I do have yielding in these these areas. And I can also look at this. This is having a 25% margin over yield. I can zoom back down a little bit. There's even at uh, at yield, you know, using the, this criteria, you can see we have a little bit of yielding. So okay, that's for that case. Again, for this geometry, but on the first load case, no problems. Third geometry, first load case, no problems. But if you look at the second one. Uh, second low case is problematic so you know I would really want to go back and look at making a, another design if that wasn't the load that I was really trying to design to I'd like to go back in there and make it a little bit uh, stiffer so I can avoid uh, this type of uh, uh, stress hotspot okay but I think that gives you an idea of how design studies are done uh, with SimSolid well, that gives you a quick overview of SimSolid. Maybe to summarize, you know, SimSolid works on CAD geometry directly without simplification, without meshing. It's capable of analyzing large assemblies. The assembly today was 85 parts, but uh, many of our customers run hundreds and even thousands of parts uh, with SimSolid. Accuracy is built in. You saw that every time we did a solution, we did multiple solution packs, passes and measuring convergence of errors. So simple, fast, accessible. That's what Sim SimSolid is. Uh, we call SimSolid Simulation Reinvented. Okay, you can follow us online at the, at the links there. Uh, but really, next steps may be um, uh, going to our website. There's a lot of information in the uh, white papers area. Uh, I have the link there provided. And if you want, you, everybody can just try, the, try it for themselves. It's a free 30-day trial uh, in our download section. All right, thanks for watching.